Hi, today I'm going to show you a technique called resist embossing. What you'll need for this project is a Versamark watermark stamp pad, clear embossing powder, inks of your choice. Today I'm using Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Walnut Stain and Aged Mahogany, a heat emboss tool, and a stamp of your choice. Today I'm going to use Heartfelt Creations Burnished Key Pre-Cut Set. First thing you want to do is take your Versamark pad and stamp the stamp really well with the ink, making sure you get full coverage for your heat embossing. Once you stamped your stamp onto your paper, I used a cream colored cardstock. You're going to cover the stamped image with your clear embossing powder. Make sure you get everything covered. Then I have a little tray that I just um, dump it back into, but you can use whatever method you have and you'll see the embossing powder adhered to your image. Then you'll take your heat emboss gun, turn that on, and just heat your paper until the embossing powder sets. You'll be able to see it set. It, you visually will be able to see when it sets. I'm just about finished with the heat embossing. I will show you what my image looks like once the embossing is finished. So you can visually see that the embossing powder is all set. The next, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Tim Holtz anchor. I'm going to get some ink from my stamp pad onto the anchor. I'm starting with the aged mahogany and I'm just going to, with a swirling motion, go into my image and just hit spots of it. Just randomly going to hit it. Right now that's how my image looks. Then I'm going to go back in with the walnut stain and hit that image again. Same thing. Just kind of using a circular circular motion. And I'll just work on it, adding a little more here and there till I really get the look that I want. Once um, you have your image inked the way that you would like it, just lightly wipe the top of your image off. That will remove any ink that is on your embossed image. Finished inking and I wiped off my image. I'll show you what the finished image looks like. Turned out very nice. I'm very happy with it. It's 
elegant and distressed looking. I'm going to use it on a card. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Till next time, thanks and happy scrapping.